Hi, this is Phil Newman. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Longevity Technology, and I'm delighted to say that today I'm joined by Chris Rinch, CEO of Amazentis. Hey, Chris. Hi, Phil. Thanks for having me today. Oh, great to have you here. And Chris, let's talk about why you founded Amazentis in the first place. When we founded Amazentis, the idea was to take nutrition to the next level in terms of the scientific perspective. That's The idea was to really take all of the tools of modern biology and apply it towards nutrition to identify those nutrients inside of the foods that uh, we're consuming that can really bring a benefit uh, to our cells and to our overall body health. Very good. Now, the uh, the scientific and medical community is, is very excited and exercised about uh, uranithin A, and um, it's causing a lot of buzz. You know, do, you, do you see this as being a game changer for human health? Yes, we do. I mean, so urolithin A is, is a compound that, that we, um, we uncovered as having an activity on, on mitochondria. And mitochondria, as you uh, may know, are, it's located inside of all of our cells uh, and really act to generate most of the energy uh, that our cells need to, to survive and to perform. And the interesting thing about urolithin A is that it's actually... Uh, acting to recycle the mitochondria that are degenerating inside of the cells. And this is particularly important during the aging process because as we get older, the mitochondrial function declines and, uh, and as a consequence, there's a lot of um, not only cellular dysfunction, but organ dysfunction. And we've seen that uh, people who are, are getting older and have uh, dysfunction in their um, in movement and, and walking, uh, this is largely uh, linked to a decline uh, in an associated malfunction of uh, mitochondria. And of course, there's a lot of interest in, in this area overall uh, in terms of mobility and so on. Now, I understand that really you're one of the first organizations, if not the first organization to run, uh, let's call it clinical studies uh, on urolithin A. So um, pioneering pioneering research. So what is the outcome? What have you discovered so far from that work? Yes, well, we've run a number of uh, placebo-controlled, uh, double-blinded uh, clinical studies in, uh, in adults uh, of different ages. Uh, our very first study that we published in Nature Metabolism looked at the impact of urolithin A after one month. And what we saw was that uh, after, after four weeks of taking urolithin A, we could find an improvement in the um, mitochondrial gene signature in the muscles, the leg muscles of participants, as well as in circulating biomarkers uh, at acyl carnitine uh, level that it, it, it improved as well, uh, indicating an, improve, an overall sort of systemic improvement and impact on uh, mitochondrial health. And that was, that was one of the first studies that we did and that really opened up the door to the subsequent studies where we, where we went and treated uh, participants for a longer duration uh, and with the idea to look at actual physiological endpoints, uh, particularly muscle function. And so uh, the study uh, recently, uh, we published a study uh, that was in older adults, uh, 65 and older, uh, and we treated them for a period up to uh, four months uh, with uh, urolithin A. And what we saw was after a period of two months, we found an improvement in mitochondrial function. Uh, and this is through uh, biomarkers in the blood. And we also um, found an improvement in the function, in the in muscle function, in particular muscle endurance at, that, that was statistically significant following a two month period of taking uh, mitopure. That's fascinating. And, uh... I'm quite quite fascinated by this, really. If I may just ask, Chris, you know, because obviously you're you're a let's call it a consumer product, right? You're, you're taking on um, really potential therapies uh, and following a clinical pipeline. That's that's really exciting stuff. I mean, do you see as an organisation that you'll stay, you know, purely kind of retail, or do you feel that there's an opportunity for you to move into the therapeutic areas? Well, Amazentis is really focused on nutrition and health and wellness, so that means basically anything that falls under the, uh, the food and dietary supplement space. The activities that we've, um, the biological activity of urolithin A is very potent in the cells. And, um, you know, and, and we see this as something that 
would be a great um, complement for people's diets to help manage their muscle function uh, and their cellular function as they as they age at whatever point in their life. In fact, uh, we we know people who are young and athletes and professional athletes that are taking urolithin A and uh, and mitopure and uh, and they see uh, and and we hear from many of our uh, customers that they're feeling the the benefits of mitopure. Fascinating. So we've we've heard that uh, uh, urolithin A is described as a as a postbiotic um, or a you know or a gut uh, metabolite. So how does that how does that work? Yeah, well, let, let me uh, walk back and tell you a little bit more about the origins of urolithin A. So uh, it's really uh, one, of the, one of the foods that we're eating and normally that, that can lead to the delivery or the production of urolithin A in our bodies is the pomegranate. And so inside of the pomegranate, there's a class of compounds called the elagitanins. And when you consume elagitanins, the gut microflora uh, will then process them and, and then turn them into a number of metabolites. And one of those metabolites is urolithin A. And in order to, um, so in order to produce urolithin A in your body, normally you have to have the gut, the right gut microflora. So not everybody has that right gut microflora. In fact, we ran a clinical trial to assess sort of what percentage of people in the U S have that uh, have that ability to convert uh, pomegranate juice into urolithin A. And we, we've we estimated it's around 40% of people that can do that, and that's variable. So it's not a, a binary um, situation, which it's either all you're a, a converter or you're not, but you may be a high, a, a mid, or a, a low converter. And so back to your point on the, um, the postbiotic, uh, Postbiotics is a term that's used to refer to the um, the product of a of a you know of a probiotic uh, on uh, on a food that you take. So, for example, in, inside of your gut, you would have these um, probiotics, these bacteria that would be transforming the elagitanins into urolithin A, and so urolithin A, uh, you would refer to that as a, a postbiotic in that chain of events. But it, so uh, what is Mitopure and how does it actually compare to urolithin A? So Mitopure is, is actually urolithin A. It's our proprietary urolithin A that uh, we manufacture. It's identical in chemical structure to urolithin A. Uh, and what we do uh, different than having a glass of uh, pomegranate juice is we take, uh, and we have found the right doses that you can take in, of urolithin A and that will have the biological effect after you consume that orally. Okay, so um, what would the equivalent in uh, pomegranates be that you'd have when you take the, uh, the Montepure supplement? Well, we, in the study I was referring to earlier, uh, we did some calculations in it and, and essentially you would need to have uh, about six glasses of pomegranate juice and you would need to be a converter in order to, um, to have the same levels of urolithin A as our 500 milligram supplement. So Chris, how does Mitopure compare with other mitochondrial health ingredients like CoQ10 and NR? Well, Mitopure uh, has a real unique uh, approach and activity on the mitochondria. So it stimulates a process that's called mitophagy. And mitophagy acts by recycling damaged mitochondria. And so the way this works is that the mitochondria, as they're producing ATP, they do, they do, get, some, do get damaged and, and consequently they stop functioning as, as well as they did uh, prior to that damage. And so in order to optimize the function of your mitochondria and, and your overall cell function, your cells have an innate process that recycles the damaged mitochondria and maintains a population of healthy mitochondria inside of your cell. But unfortunately, as we get older and if we have more sedentary life, uh, lifestyle, this innate process inside of the cell of recycling the, the damaged mitochondria declines. And so you get an accumulation of damaged mitochondria 
and your cells just don't have the enough energy to function and overall the the functioning of the not only the cell but the organ uh, declines and so uh, what mitopure does is it stimulates this whole process of mitophagy and by stimulating this process of mitophagy uh, we're able to clean up the damaged mitochondria and and keep the pool of mitochondria inside our cell in a real optimal form. Excellent. And uh, Chris, in terms of the availability of MitoPure, is it uh, available to purchase today? It certainly is. We, we've we developed uh, MitoPure and we sell it under our, uh, under our consumer brand uh, called Timeline. We sell this on our website, timelinenutrition.com, and we have this in a number of different product formats. So uh, these formats include everything from uh, soft gel pills to um, to a, a berry powder mix that you can put into your food. And we also have uh, protein shakes. And the idea is that, that we can really cater to the preferences of all different types of consumers, whether people prefer to take pills or prefer to have a, a real food experience. And, and so this is uh, this is proven to be um, very successful in terms of uh, those people. There's many people who, who prefer that food experience, for example. Great. Well, Chris, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. And I, and I think the, the work that you're doing by p- applying that clinical rigor is, is, uh, is, is really fascinating. So be, we'll be sharing some of those results with our readers, I'm sure. And uh, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Phil. Really enjoyed today.